It's a big upset at the ISRO after the historic GSLV D3 launch has failed, but not all is lost. And scientists are now saying that the indigenously built uh, cartogenic technology performed as per the expectations. We have got a problem during the Thursday regime, so we could not achieve the mission. In fact, the launch failed after starting on the normal trajectory before deviations in the flight path caused concern for the ISRO scientists. ISRO now says that it stopped receiving data from GSLV D3 rocket 5.5 seconds after its lift off. But uh, while the chirogenic technology was successful, the steering actually malfunctioned. And ISRO also says that all the data available from the failed launch will now be examined thoroughly. The burnout of the second stage and the vehicle got a velocity of 4.9 km per second as planned. The cryo stage ignition command was issued as planned by the onboard computer. Indications are that the cryo engine ignited. This is to be confirmed after detailed analysis of the data. However, we saw the vehicle was tumbling, indicating the controllability was lost, most probably as the two vernier engines, again small cryo engines, would not have ignited and developed the necessary control force. The detailed analysis of the flight data would be carried out and we would find out the reasons for the non-ignition of the vernier engines. We would also confirm whether the main cryogenic engine ignited and then we would put all of our efforts to ensure that we have the next flight with the indigenous cryogenic engine and stage within an year from now. All our engineers, scientists, technicians and the entire ISRO team have worked very hard to reach this level, it is really the effort of 18 years working on this complex technology. Realization of the cryogenic engine and stage up to a level of flying itself was a major accomplishment. But we need to go a long way and we would do that in the next one year. Thank you.